are you? Very helpful. Okay, Thank so we're you. in another massive storeroom full of awesome and cool stuff that I can steal. Because you're fine to steal things as long as nobody is there to see you. Which in a room that's completely locked and has no one in it is perfectly fine as long as you don't open the door. Steal Lost Hope Bar Keycard. Oh yeah. Our mac and cheese. Model spaceship. Okay. Some water, some raspberry punch, some lava, necklace punch, and weapon parts, bit cartridges. Oh, more stuff to steal. Uh, uh, acquire. Commandeer. A couple of nice guns, though. I do really like this laser, this um, like fire gun I've got, though. It's pretty cool. Unlock with the Lost Hope bar key card. This room is looking very empty, honestly. I'm not thinking there's anything here. Okay, well, let's have a look in this door. That goes to the bar. I'm just gonna play with it again. What's behind this door? This seems to be the kitchen. Anybody in here? Yes, there is a chef in here. There are two chefs in here. They won't let you steal a booze. Well, I think some of it was booze. Some of the stuff we picked up was like lager or something, I think. Colonials are always itching for a fight. They're not worried that I'm here, though. They seem to think I just belong here. It's all cool. Why do I always manage to find the toilet? Every time. And that's just the bar then. I think we've explored this that. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Some townships have asked Halcyon News to make a statement regarding rumors of food shortages. I'm sure there probably are. Rest assured, the far-sighted corporate leaders of Halcyon have tailored their product lines to be selective to the refined customer. Scheduled scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. Scheduled scarcity. This story brought to you by Halcyon News. All the news that's fit to broadcast. Millennio Oscuro, thank you very much for the follow as well. Gosh, we're getting closer to that 3,000 goal, aren't we? We got th uh, 28 to go. Didn't the board rep's office used to be in the Dawson days? Yeah, about 10 years back. Right, so we've just been in, we've just checked out the on. Lost Hope. Must be good at um, let's go and check out Rest and Go. Oh, you're very welcome. Ooh, you ain't renting upstairs room? We get to rent a room, do we? Okay. Uh, Milo Ottinger. How do you do? And uh, welcome to the Rest and Go. We used to be the go and rest, but folks never knew when to leave. Oh, you're so funny. Sorry. Mwah. Business oh, has oh, been oh, slow. Oh. Anything to occupy the time. The question, the Outer Worlds or Fallout? Do you mean the best game out of the two? Because I haven't played Fallout. Any of them. Except a little bit of Fallout Shelter, which doesn't count. <laughs> I'm looking for Gladys. Oh, you can't miss her. Right behind you, number two. First unit on the left, or second unit from the right, depending on which direction you count from. Okay. So, like, there's two rooms, is it? How's life on the Groundbreaker? Fine, as long as the board keeps its grubby mitts to itself. 
Chief Tennyson holds the ship together, the promenade holds our economy together, and Sublight is the shoddy jewel in our rusty old crown. See, I think for me, I think generally the more like on rails a game is, the more I tend to enjoy it. I like to have just little bits of side quests with lots of story. So Fallout, so so the more you get towards like Elder Scrolls and stuff, the less I really like them. The the more you have things along this sort of line, things like Alpha Protocol, things like um, to a certain extent Jade Empire. There's there's a few games that are they're very like tightly bound to their stories, and a lot of people are like, oh, I don't like that at all. I want to be able to explore, but I'm like, well, all you're doing really is making a huge world full of fetch quests and and boring stuff. So I prefer main story because it tends to be better crafted and better written. But that is a very unpopular opinion, I think. <laughs> so I wouldn't I wouldn't ask me. <laughs> so how does the groundbreaker keep the board at bay? Our chief Tennyson has an independent streak. Same as her mother and grandmother who rode this ship on the crossing. There's a reason the board's embassy is a glorified shoebox. While Junlei Tennyson lives and breathes, Groundbreaker remains free. Oh, that's who J, J. Tennyson is. Right. You mentioned Sublight. Our local garbage collectors. That Lilia Hagen never met a debris field she didn't like. So that's who she Al Hagen is. Okay. She planted her roots in Groundbreaker to escape board oversight. But I think there's more to it. She's unusual in the head, that one. Do you do business with the promenade merchants? Of course. Most of our supplies come and go through merchants. Company ships and salvage runs are the only traffic we tend to get. I try and steer clear of that creepy fellow in the moon mask. If there's a cost to being a company man, he paid it in spades. The moon mask, okay. Loads of really cool sounding people to talk to then. Right, there's no one to see me here. Be careful picking up things like maglocks and stuff around here because uh, all right so which door did he say it was <laughs> i don't remember so i'm gonna open them all of course i found the bathroom it seems to be all i do in this game is walk around the place finding bathrooms Hello, little sprats. Oh, okay. There's a super secret area behind here as well. I've seen you limping a bit. You all right, Mr. Vicker? Need us to slow down? What are you implying? I am perfectly fit. My... Uh... What's this? Squatter's Journal. I served on two corporate freighters before I got stranded here. Everyone's heard my sob story, but no one's listening. To them, I'm just background radiation. Wasn't my fault the captain decided to take off early. Wasn't my fault no one's checked the crew manifest. Wasn't my fault they replaced me with a full timer. Now I'm filthy, bitless, and bedless. For as far as anyone's concerned, I'm groundbreaker's trash. That's how I live. And if no one agrees to take me on as crew, I suppose that's how I'll die. Me is just acting up. Okay. There's no shame in being older, Mr. Vicker. I want to Don't worry. find you. The captain and I'll take care of you. I need neither your advice nor your pity, young lady. <laughs> Don't be so mean to Max Pavarotti. Like all sorts of stuff here. I'm gonna take it. I don't care. Armor parts. I'm not gonna take his G brew though. Or algae lager. I'll carry on down here though. Oh, I can't really see. If I've got a light, F for flashlight maybe. Oh yeah. Sorry, that was using one of my things. I'm guessing not then. I'm 
Maybe they already have it on. I quite like exploring all these little, like, out of the way places in the space station, though. This doesn't look too safe. Let's go in the water with the electrical sparks. around here. Oh, okay. Requires a groundbreaker ID. Okay. Well, no one can see me around here. If I'm sneaky enough, I can just steal things. I'm just gonna save before I steal too many things. But what I don't want to do is go through the door. Do let me know if I accidentally pick up the, the uh, Medical Bay keycard. But unfortunately, I don't think I can go any further without getting caught. So let's just like run back around. The game has bathroom chairs, indeed. Why in the architect's name would you say that? Because all we ever do is go around like bathrooms and sewers and stuff. <laughs> That's why he doesn't like travelling with us. I'm not grouchy, I'm just just irritated by inane questions. Yeah, see, when you say it like that, it makes me wonder. Okay, so we found all sorts of really interesting things. Um sneaking around the back of places but uh, i think we do need to go back and talk to that lady i do like all the secret secret places that you can find here though this is halcyon news hi gladys oh you're right by a massive safe i'd love to get in there okay Bless my heart. A stranger come knocking on a poor old woman's door. Mm -hmm. You here for a particular reason? Or did the neighbors tell you how good my sugar cookies are? Sugar cookies? Made without a single natural ingredient. Or an oven. Just like store-bought. Um, okay, so Phineas sent me. He said you could sell me a nappy to Stella Bay. Trade. Or leave. So I'm just gonna say Phineas. Those have been the height of illegality since Stellar Bay turned their noses up at the board. You and I could be thrown to the void just for discussing such a transaction. Lucky for us, Groundbreaker's a free port. We're outside of the board's control. For the time being, at least. Now, I only have the one nav key. And they're hard to come by these days. It won't be cheap. If you find yourself lacking in the bits, I might have an opportunity you'd be interested oh, of in. Of course. Probably illegal. 10,000 bits I'll take the nav key to Slurra Bay. Um, any chance of a discount since Phineas sent me? No one's ever found my bits lacking. Oh, thanks for your time. How many bits do I have? Can I open my inventory? Any time, sweetheart. You know where to find me. Here, take a candy with you. Oh, she's nice. She gives me sweets. Right, I just want to know how many how many short I am. A lot short. Right, okay. I have a few things that I could maybe sell. Like a few consumables and stuff like that. The likelihood of me getting enough is very slim. So I'm going to ask her about her opportunity. It's almost time for today's episode of The Chairman's Children. No. Care to listen with me? 
I wanted to talk about the opportunity you mentioned. Yes, dearie? I'm ready to look into it. Ain't that just a treat? So, you know Edna, over in engineering? On occasion, she'll pass along transmissions I might find interesting. She sent me a recording of a distress signal she'd scraped from the Groundbreaker's comm array. Hmm. Curious thing is, it came from an outpost Ooh. called Rosewood. And Auntie Cleo abandoned that place years ago. Uh, why was Roseway abandoned? Can't say I know for sure. Maybe it never really was. Sounds like someone poking into somewhere they shouldn't be got into a spot of trouble. Comm centers don't operate themselves, Captain. Someone had to have sent that distress call manually. Those corps are cleverer than all get out. Might have been a ruse to keep the rest of the board from sniffing around. Say no more, I am in. You've got an ear for intrigue and a nose for bits. I like that. Here's a copy of the SOS recording, complete with the coordinates. If you should find a secret worth selling, might be I could find a buyer. Corporate bigwigs will pay top bit for inside information on their competitors. Okay. The more we got the corpse fighting each other, the less time they got to meddle in our affairs. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so. Abandoned outpost, corporate secrets. Got it. Don't forget to come find old Gladys when you're done. What are you say? I've got a lovely little throw pillow. Just something I toss together. Like to keep my hands busy. Yeah, it'll all be guns, won't it? Oh, you got mag picks. Nice. And shunts. Always useful. Bit nose. That's like dwarf nose, isn't it? <laughs> Taking those. Taking those. Help me break into places. Mayfair Mad, thank you very much for popping along to the stream. Have a good night. It's 160 DPS. Nice. Spacer's Choice Rifles, 6,000 though. I can't afford it, but worth noting. Okay. What can I sell you? Spacer's Chow. Dervish Mist. Gourmet Saltuna Fillets. A lot of those are just temporary, like, increases and boosts of things. Um, the hibernation suit. I do need to get my vicar some armor, though. So that might be a good thing to give to him. Auntie Cleo's ointment. Probably should be selling something there. Toss ball blocker, 113 DPS. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that. I'm gonna sell quite a few of the consumables, I think. Impact hammer. Heavy machine gun. Wow, 400. Auto mag pistol, level 9, level 10. 238 for level 8. Oh, one of those sabers. I don't need the sabers anymore. I think we're getting much better stuff than that dropping at this point. Or that trip blade thing, or the telescoping star. All the machine guns and stuff, I'm like, hmm. Okay, sell that one, I think. Bolt, jolt, bolt a pistol. Is that what I'm using? I don't I never know what I'm using. That's my problem. A shock cannon. Oh, that's so much cool stuff. Three armor. No, we don't need anything with three armor. Seven armor, possibly. Five armor. 
Hephaestus heat helmet. So if we go to Hephaestus, we might need to like sort of have radiation suits. But we do have one with nine armor. Okay. Riot control. Stealth skills plus five, which is probably why I'm keeping that. Oh, it's just so hard to know what to sell. Just having a bit of a sale there, Doc Diving Dog Mom. Just a, it's really more just because my my weight is huge right now. So I really, really, really need to just uh, pare this down a bit. I don't want to sell things that I don't. Okay, let's just have a look at all the guns. I'm level 7 now, so I would say anything probably that you're going to use at about level 5 needs to go unless it's really awesome. I think I'm using the bolter pistol. Uh, we've got some light machine guns and stuff like that. They'll probably do a little bit more damage, but I do need something that's like a basic pistol. There's a shock cannon... Probably does a similar amount of damage. Impact hammer I don't need. Auto mag pistol, no, I don't need that. Heavy machine gun, I'll keep. Impact hammer, sell. Tactical shotgun, level 8. Could keep, because a lot of these are level 10, so by the time I am at level 10, I'll probably have better stuff, but the assault rifle can go. I've got other things now. I'm going to use something heavy. I'll just use a heavy machine gun. Okay, so now if... Oh, actually, armor. Great, why is it hot in here? Or is it just my glands uh, acting up again? Have, I have to say something every time. I just want to do trading. I found a handsome ceramic mantapillar at a salvage auction last week. Oh yeah, I just found out about mantapillars. They're pretty cool, right? Sell. Armor, right. I think the hibernation suit can go at this point. And I think the riot control armor can go because it's level one. I think the rest of it can maybe stay. I think I'm gonna give, um, I think I'm gonna sell that one. And then I think I'm going to uh, go into Vicar Max, and I'm going to get him some armor on. So let's give you that and that. Well, that's much better than what you were wearing, so. And uh, you've got a son off shotgun, 299 DPS. I'm happy with that. 109 on your melee weapon, but yeah, okay. Mostly you'll probably use your gun. That's fine by me, I think. Right, so we need to go to Rosewater, but before we can go to Rosewater, I imagine we've got to get our ship unimpounded. So... <laughs> Doc Diving Dog Mom, do you want to try, me to try and explain a bit of the story to you? Did you... I think, uh, how much have you missed? Did you miss all of last stream? I know she's in there, Empuru. There. Please don't make a scene, Dr. Fenhill. Oh yeah, we were in the back I of there. I am not making a scene. Something I can help you with? Um, can I buy supplies? You seem well stocked. Not without dispensation from Chief June Lei, I fear. Supplies are hard to come by out here. How do you mean? We don't have the ability to manufacture our own medical supplies here on Groundbreaker. Regrettably, we are dependent on the board for such mundane items as bandages and antibiotics, as well as more critical resources like adequately trained staff. We'd nearly signed a supply agreement with Anticleos, but they demanded we only use their branded drugs, and that's simply not tenable. Hmm. Okay. See you around. Take care. I maybe need to speak to Auntie Cleo. Ellie. I'm sorry. Am I causing a scene? Yes. See, Umfuru, we could have avoided all this unpleasantness if you just let me talk to Jesse in the first place. 
What's this about your friend? Let me get one thing straight. Jesse and I are not friends. I just owe her, okay? Okay. As for the rest, I'm trying to figure that out. All I know is that she's been here too long and she's apparently not receiving visitors. Okay. Uh maybe I can look in on Jesse. Be my guest. If you know something I don't about dealing with hospital bureaucracy, I'll be impressed. All right. Let's see if I can do any persuades. What seems to be the problem? I'd like to see Jesse Doyle. If only my other patients had so many inquiring after them. I'll tell you what I've told the others. The records say Miss Doyle checked herself in and requested I admit no visitors. The requests of our patients are paramount, so no, you may not see her. I need a groundbreaker thing to get in. So perception, the records say you actually spoken to her yourself. She's not my patient. I'm certain no one on my staff would falsify patient records, if that's what you're implying. Mm. Take around. care. Right, I know how to get into the back of the hospital. Um, but I would need the right card to disguise myself as medical staff. So, I still haven't found that. So we need to keep looking. Is there any way we hadn't been in the waste disposal place? It seems like the sort of place where things might be hidden. We can go down here, look. Kind of gross, I know, but if you can go down there, then you probably should be exploring it. Seems like a fine way to die, but all right, let's check it out. There are no doors. I don't think we're going down there anytime soon. Not that I would really want to. Light ammo and a pocket watch. Okay. Not doing very well at finding these cartridges, are we? Busted all the doors open around here, I think. Busted all the doors open around there. So I think I think the waste disposal we've done everything. Medical bay we can't do much with. Rest and go. Had a little look around and we found a couple of secrets. Bell shells. Okay, yeah, we we found our way into the back of there. Freighter crew, Steve door. None of them have names, which makes me think they probably won't have anything to say, particularly. I'm going to go talk to the uh, troopers and see if I can get in here. Or if I can just walk in. Apparently I can. Let's have a chat. Do a little save and then I'm going to have a little chat about my uh, impounded ship. When you were sick, who took your temperature? When you were... Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. No. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh, guys, remember last time? This is the guy that absolutely worshipped and adored and was sending loads of messages to Hawthorne and Hawthorne was like, uh, get away from me. But I'm gonna tell him Alex is dead and this is gonna go well. Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. What was your relationship with him? He was my dearest friend. My only friend. 
You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. <laughs> Did he? Um... Yep, he sure did. Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a <laughs> sentimental man. Sometimes lying Tell is me, good. How did he die? I may need to lie again. He died in an escape pod accident, or I could lie. No, I'm going to say he died in an escape pod accident. Oh, awful business, that. But why? How... No, no. Best not to ask after the gory details. Okay, I'm very sorry. Can we get back to the topic at hand? Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there, I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? This is where I definitely need to lie. Um, why is the board so interested in Wells anyway? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. Why do you think I'd know anything about Wells? That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible That's news. annoying. Oh, I lost my mouse. What am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional of me. Is there anything else I might help you with? There we go, I've got my mouse back now. What's this about the board having your head? It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Our night test pilot be... Is there anything I can do to help? Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... well, it's my white whale, I suppose. No, I still can't tell you where he is. It's fine. Really, it's perfectly fine. I understand. Now, if you've nothing else, please see yourself out. I'd like to drown myself in work. I wanted to ask you something else. Be my guest. What are those locked doors in the back? A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Um, does the chairman visit often? Oh, good law, of course not. He'd never set foot on this decrepit junk pile. Oh, interesting. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specifically state a room must be maintained for the chairman's exclusive use. Does he important here to you? Oh, law, but it's miserable. My underarms are damp. How can I be expected to work in these conditions? Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but I've seen no action from her. Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. You can be certain of that. Okay, back to my other questions. Ask I think away. we're going to leave him for now. But at least I can go and sort that key out. Now, we do need to find Tennyson. She is the one we have not found yet. Um, probably will be... In engineering. <laughs>